The United Steelworkers Union not happy with the potential sale of U.S. steel to a Japanese company. Lydia Hu joins us from Braddock, Pennsylvania. Lydia, we know the union is against the sale, but what about the union rank and file? Yeah, hi there, Stuart. U.S. Steel employs almost 4,000 workers in the state of Pennsylvania. So you can imagine with so many workers, opinions differ. I have reported before that some workers agree with those top union officials, the top brass, that this deal should be blocked. Those workers worry that Nippon will not honor their labor agreement and that they could eventually lose their jobs. But others disagree, like this group of workers who broke with the union to speak with us. They think that Nippon's offer and promises for investment in the company will protect their jobs. And they say many of their co-workers agree with them. Listen. I think we look at it more as saving everything that we've worked for for the last 27 years. Correct. And everything that the folks who are being hired now want to work for for 27 years and beyond. I think of it as representing all the folks out on that floor that I care about. And we spoke with some local elected officials like this mayor from a local town outside of Pittsburgh. They say Nippon buying U.S. steel, that's best for the local economy. I met a lady the other day that has a welding supply that her biggest uh, uh, contract is with U.S. Steel. She has 28 employees. She said they would fold if the Irvin Works close, which is the one in here in West Midland. All 28 people will have to find jobs somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And that's just one. Mm -hmm. That's just one vendor. And now President Biden is reportedly preparing to act to block the sale of U.S. steel to Nippon. But these workers and that local mayor, they hope that by speaking with us and getting their message out that they support the sale of U.S. steel to Nippon, maybe that could change the course. Stuart, I'll send Lydia, it back to you. Lydia, who? Thank you very much indeed.